So this is a typical room in a house using infrared. Uh, it's been installed a good few years and I want to show you what kind of consumption we're getting on this infrared panel. So just to show you, it's we go into here, uh, unit, um, I know, additional settings, heating power. So this is a 900 watt heater in this room. It's around 14 square meters and it's a bedroom. So the way we normally heat a bedroom is we bring it on in the morning and in the evening and maintain a temperature during the night. So um, this will give you an idea. So we go into settings and we go into consumption. So it records daily consumption. So we have, uh, today it's used 1.3 units. Yesterday, 0 0.7, the day before, one unit. Now on the application on your phone, that'll sh you can put in what you're paying for electricity. So instead of saying 1.4 units, it'll say something like 50 cent. The day before, 1.6, 1.5 and so on. Uh, then we go into months and then we can see um, what energy is being used on a monthly basis. So we'll just scroll back up. Um, so we can see December 2023, we used 22 units of electricity. 11, November 2023, we used 39. So say what, 40 units of electric at 35 cent a unit plus the VAT, other charges. So it's around four, 12, 14 quid um, plus the VAT there. Uh, then if we scroll up, we will see um, see November 2022, we used 65 units. Do you remember that was a cold month last year? Well, 2022, November 2022, which was 65 units. So that's around, what, 27, 25 quid. Um, so the good thing about it is there's nowhere to hire on this baby. Uh, people say, oh, you know, what kind of consumption? Now, look, it's all relevant to level of insulation, ceiling height, number of panels in the room. But when you, you know, if you have three beds and three bed house and each room is going to use like this, and then you have a living area that's going to use from three in the day till 10 or 11 at night, it's not bad. The fact that you have no maintenance, a nice comfortable heat. But I'll just show you what's happening here. So the desired temperature in the room is 20 degrees. It's currently 19.5, but you see what's happening here. The software inside the controller knows that it only needs to put out 110 watts of, of electric through the heater to get the temperature from 19.5 to 20. So this is a big feature with her that this controller will regulate the heat rather than just a standard controller that you'll find in the market will just simply switch on and off the heater. This actually regulates which allows the panel to run approximately 20% more efficient. So if you see, if I increase the temperature to, to um, 20.5, well then the software knows it needs to, it'll average uh, 795 watts. So as that temperature increases, that percentage will reduce. Now you can display it as wattage or a percentage. It's totally up to you. Um, so that'll give you an idea of the advantages to these controllers, um, how they actually work that it records energy consumption. It's a great product, all designed and made in Europe. Fantastic, um, and it's a nice touchscreen device. You can also lock the device. You can connect it to your app and look at, uh, you have a central controller to enter the app. Many features with this controller. So for more information, check out our website, infraredheat.ie.